What's up squeegee slingers? Tradman here and today we're going to be fitting a new roof rack to the Tradmobile. So in the uh, Tradman workshop, I know it's a bit messy today, I do apologise. We have the new Rhino roof racks that we're going to fit. So these are the ones, it's a full size one that's going to go from front to back and it'll have a roller on the back as well so that the ladders are nice and easy to push up and onto the roof rack. So these are the old ones. You can see here they're pretty knackered to be honest the auto maxi they're all rusty and bent and well used shall we say so uh we're going for the heavy duty stuff now so come with me today as we uh try to fit those mm. Okay, so here we are in the Tradman workshop. I do apologize, this is very, very messy in here at the moment. So we've got the two sections to the Rhino roof rack here and the box of parts in there. So let's crack the box open and have a look what we have inside. So they're actually, I'm really happy with how fast they got it to me. Um, I ordered it on the Sunday and this is now Tuesday midday and it's already here so you know, they've obviously, on the Monday, had it all packaged and shipped off, ready to come to me, and then by Tuesday it's at my house, so can't complain, that's really good. Uh, what is this stuff? A delivery note. Not really interested in that, it's not the instructions, is it? No, I don't think so. I would imagine the instructions will be in here. I did have a quick look at how to do this on YouTube uh, before, so let's see. Okay, so here we have the Rhino roof rack. It's not assembled yet, but just to let you see what it looks like. Don't stand on my new roof rack, you! You dirty bandit! Um, yeah, so basically from what I can see, you uh, do the fittings first and then lay that on top and bolt it together, bolt it to the van, Bob's your uncle, job done. As easy as that, eh? <laughs> Probably not. But yeah, no, I wanted it because it's got this bit at the back as well. It's got the roller. Yes, thank you, Millie, for demonstrating how you can stand on it. This is how they test things in a factory. This is what uh, they should do with traditional and water-fed pole stuff. If it survives one of these, then it's good quality. What do you think, Millie? Yeah? <laughs> oh, dear. On the bum. Yeah, got a lot of rubbish to put away as well. So, right, should we get cracking and see if we can get this assembled? We've got my 13 millimeter socket, so let's go and put this on the van, shall we? I had to use WD-40 to get the previous roof rack off because it was so tight. Okay, now I think I've definitely got the thread to catch on. That's good. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to tighten it right up. I'm going to leave a little bit of slack just so I can move it around and position it. But I think that's looking good. And of course, I was a little bit confused at first because in the picture, you can see there, there's a gap. And I was like, that can't be right. Surely that's maybe, the, like, I maybe don't need that small bit there. Uh, but according to the picture, this is exactly what it goes. It goes bracket, big block, small block, and then this rubber thing underneath. So I just thought it was a bit of a strange way of doing it, but according to the instructions, that's what to do, so. Okay, so that is all four brackets on. I've not tightened them up fully yet. And like I say, just leaving everything a little bit slack, just a little bit of wiggle room. So what I'm going to do next, if she lets me, is put this together now. Found you! You found me, very good. I wasn't really hiding, but um, yeah, so we're going to do this. Wow, the life of a two-year-old, eh? We've got these bolts here, washers and nuts, that's fine, which should all be in there. Oh dear, here comes the other child. This is why I get nothing done, and I have no time to do YouTube videos all the time. Here's the other one. There's a fly in the house. Oh no, what are we going to do? Oh, that's handy, that fits. 13 mil for everything. Are you going to watch Daddy build his roof rack? Yeah. Awesome. What are you going to do with it? Well, you see those two bits of metal there? Huh? Daddy has to join them together, and then using his He-Man strength, they have to lift it up on the van. You're supposed to have two people doing it, but I'm all by myself. Well, we will help you. You're going to help me? Okay, that's awesome. Well, let's get to work. Okay, so I have to get this together now. So, I'm gonna put a bolt in that way, and then that on the other side. 
through there. And that one through there. Okay, so we have the complete thing together now. It's bolted two bolts there, two bolts there. So according to the instructions, I just have to make sure that everything's symmetrical, which, uh, yeah, it is. That'll do. Uh, yep, and put the bars across onto the brackets. That's fine. And what does it say? So I'm trying to get some light on it. Yeah, so I was right enough because it's saying here once the, the whole thing is on to tighten up the bracket that's on the van, so that's fine. Okay, and then tighten these up and then give it a shake. It's even got a man with a fist holding onto it and giving it a shake. What I'll do is um, I'm going to attempt to get this onto the van. And according to here, we've got the short wheelbase and the long wheelbase connect. Mine's a short wheelbase. So I have to put the... Hello, you. Yeah, you found me. I have to put the bracket onto the bar one. Yes, I heard you the first time, little princess. And then the second bracket goes onto bar three. Okay, that's fine. Cool, right, let's get cracking. Hello! Right, so I managed to lift up the roof rack by myself. Did you see that, Ollie? Daddy put that all by himself. That thing weighs a ton. Uh, nah. Oh my days, I just literally threw that on the roof and I've got it exactly where it should be. Can you believe that? That's amazing. That goes on here. Okay. And once you've got the first one through, it's a bit easier. You kind of have to lift the bars up to get the bolt through. But once you've got the first one through, it's a bit easier because then that takes the weight, which I'm rather happy about. Okay, just lift up a little bit, just to slide it through. Okay, and then washer each. Right, let's tighten these things up. Now, uh, hopefully, aha. Let's try and not fall through the roof. Okay, melee, melee, arrow. Okay then, squeegee slingers. So I think that is it completed. So there's the old ones, old rickety, rusty auto maxis. And now we have the Rhino heavy duty with roller at the back. So I think I've done everything right, as far as I know. Uh, I did that, I did that. Yep, joined that, that's all joined. I measured that. So basically what it was asking me to do was the width between the bracket and the edge of the uh, roof bar. It obviously had to be the same as the other side, which I've done. So that's all good. Uh, for some reason they printed upside down on the other side. Uh, yeah, so we bolted them and I've just been on the roof and tightened all them, so that's fine. That's tight. So the last thing apparently is to give it a shake. So let's do that. The whole van's moving, so that's a good sign. I don't hear any movement, that's good. Cool, now the only thing left to try is putting the ladders on. So let's get this out of the way. Now I'll have to uh, tidy up my mess. Okay, let's get the ladders, which we've got here. Ah, this place is a junk shop. It was tidy, but I've just got tools everywhere, old wheels. Oh, it's mental in here. Right, let's get these ladders.
Yo, Ollie, how's it going? I'm trying my new roof rack for the first time. You want to see? No, no, this. See on top of the van? Oh, yeah. See the roof rack? Yeah. It's, see how it's big and it's got a roller at the back, see? So the idea, hopefully, is Daddy puts a ladder against the van like that, see? Yeah? And then I lift it from the bottom and roll it up. How good is that? How easy is that? It saves Daddy lifting the ladder from the side of the van every time. Yeah, and um, how do you get it down? How do I get it down? Well, when I've taken the clamps off, I just pull the ladder like this, like. How do you get it all the way up? What do you mean? Um, what does this part mean? Oh, well, it's two sections, you see. So you, this bit comes off and you can extend this top bit and make it the ladder higher. You want me to show you? Uh -huh. Right. So you put your right hand on the side, left hand down the bottom. Look at that. Look how high that goes. Look at that. That's just a two piece one. Yeah, you can actually do it a bit higher, but these aren't the biggest ones you can get. You get bigger ones than this. This is for doing houses like ground floor and first floor, you yeah, see? Yeah, but that ladder looks a little bit smoker. Yeah, yeah, that we don't use, I don't use that ladder an awful lot, to be honest. Yeah, it looks like a kid's play thing. It looks like a kid's play thing. So there we have it, we've got the Rhino roof bars. So, super duper aerodynamic thing on the front, solid as a rock. Ugh, give it the shake test. Super solid. Awesome. There we go. So that is going to make my life a lot easier. Taking the ladders on and off. I'm going to actually get, get myself some more ladders soon. Get some A-frame ladders. And have them on as well. So that'll be the next thing. But uh, yeah, it was actually relatively easy to put together. It wasn't too bad at all. Once the actual frame was put together on the floor, the hardest bit was actually getting it on the van. Um, so yeah, definitely 100% recommend that you use two people if you can. Uh, but I didn't have that luxury at the moment. This is my only day off this week. So I really needed to get it fitted today. So I was doing it all by myself. So yeah, trying to lift that beast up on there was not easy. Very tricky. But uh, that's it done now. So happy days. Ladders are secure. Ready to rock and roll for work tomorrow. So you've been watching the Tradman YouTube channel. Thanks very much for tuning in. And uh, yeah, check out the Rhino roof racks. Really good. See you next time. Bye for now.